Hi, I'm Michette. And I'm Talia. And we just found out that we're moving to a boat. A boat right before a Canadian winter. Where the water freezes. Well, hopefully not around our boat. Uh, we'll do whatever we can to make sure that that doesn't happen. There, there are, people do this. It's, it's not the first it's time. It's a thing, it's a thing. But it's gonna be an adventure, that's for sure. I don't know what kind of adventure, but it's gonna be some sort of an adventure. <laughs> Good one, I hope. But let's rewind for a second. How did we get here anyways? The two of us grew up in fairly different environments. I grew up in Barbados, traveling around the world with my airline family. Fairly different is an understatement. I grew up in the middle of nowhere in northern Canada, in a pretty traditional French-Canadian family. But at least I had a great sense of adventure. And that's where it really comes together for us. Michelle and I matched, met, and found this rhythm where we were constantly pushing each other to do things that we probably never would do otherwise. So here we are, day one of skiing, on our way to Zauchensee. We've just uh, gotten dumped on uh, 45 centimeters of snow overnight at the base, as much as 60 at the top. Uh, so we're heading up the road to the mountain to go shred some, some gnar. We're gonna go shred the gnar. Michel has a way higher risk tolerance than I do, but he insists on planning ahead. He's in banking, yet maintains this incredible ability to dream and think outside the box. Though he does have a tendency to exaggerate. I know when to call him out on it. Uh, which is every time. Talia, on the <laughs> other hand, loves to go with the flow and avoid any undue risk, which is probably a good thing given that she's a pilot. She'll happily dive deep into the flavor of the moment and inevitably ends up covered in stains of all sorts. Hey! True. We balance each other out though. And so together we've created this pretty magical life. Where we get to go on a wild variety of adventures and take in a whole bunch of different experiences. It looks really cold out there. It's snowing pretty heavily. It must be time to go surfing. We love the cold water, and so we get out surfing in the middle We do not love the cold water. Of snowstorms. <laughs> what, what it is, is that these wetsuits keep you much warmer than you would think. Hopefully you like our boat. Hopefully, hopefully. Don't worry, we also surf in tropical climates. They don't worry about a thing, cause every little wave is gonna be slightly warmer than the waves in Canada. We were definitely in for quite a ride.
It wasn't long before we discovered our shared passion for sailing aboard Talia's dad's boat in Thailand. Get on, boys! <laughs> I'm reporting from the Similan Islands. Yeah. Guys, look back here. They're just jumping like crazy. Oh! And with a dive compressor and gear on board, we get to plan and lead our own dives. It's pretty great being able to show up to places where dive tours won't take you and just jumping into the water and seeing what's around. Even if that means occasionally getting lost. Dad calls this bit yacht maintenance in exotic locations. That's where we've learned to rebuild carburetors. Use tuna cans to fix exhaust manifolds until we can get the parts. Rewire electronics and wire up new solar panels. So after logging thousands upon thousands of miles under our keel, we decided that the sailing life was for us. <laughs> Maybe a thousand miles, babe. It's still enough to make a decision. <laughs> then we got married on a beautiful beach in Barbados. All right, welcome to Talia and Michelle's wedding! We decided to put our wedding gifts towards something that would last much longer than the honeymoon. Our first boat. SV Northern Sun, a 1986 Mirage 35. We had the pleasure of sailing this glorious boat around Toronto for three beautiful years. Maybe we'll call this chapter Yacht Maintenance in Not-So-Exotic Locations.
first time solo sailing. I've just got the Genoa out. Uh, in downtown. Now running sort of a 26% margin. It's not a, a major, you know, uh, sort of drag. This is definitely my kind of sailing. Extreme conditions! <laughs> so extreme! <laughs> Two degrees of heel! <laughs> Point two knots of spin! I love it! I love it! <laughs> In the winters when our boat was on the hard, we found ourselves researching living aboard. And that meant through harsh Canadian winters. When things fell through with my job, we started searching for our forever boat. We drove hours to see what turned out to be some pretty terrible boats. Some brokers still haven't even returned our calls. What we wanted was a boat with some projects, not a project boat. And then we found her. A 1983 Whitby 42. She's a blue water capable, ocean going catch, and she's serendipitously named Northern Reach. So now we're selling everything we own, including Northern Sun. We're giving up our pretty cushy home and we're moving aboard full time. We'll be based in the Great Lakes for now, and then wherever the wind takes us. So follow us as we head towards the adventure. Ideas for outros, take one. We are going to move to a boat. Afloat. I hope it stays afloat. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share to join us as we head towards the adventure.